Mina, Ohio Gazimash, Jesus freaking gamer here. Yes, this this is the Sunday message. Yes, it's Monday morning. And no, unfortunately, this will not be a 30-minute message. I have run out of time today. My fault again. So the 30-minute message will have to come at another time during this upcoming week. It will be on God's omnipresence. That will finish up the Heaven series. Didn't finish the Omni series, and I want to go into that. So hopefully today, but honestly, and by today I mean Monday. For me, it's kind of still Sunday because, yeah, stayed up all night. But it's kind of, it, it's still actually and really Monday. I don't honestly see it coming up today, to be completely honest with you guys. So it will be up sometime this week. I do not know when. So apologies all around once again. This is going to keep going for a while, isn't it? Yeah, it is. On to Job chapter 32. Really liked what I read here. I'm going to start in verse 6. A um, little background, beginning of this chapter. A young man called Elihu has appeared. He's listened in on the conversation. We don't know how much. He doesn't like what Job's had to say, because Job justified himself and not God. He doesn't like what his three friends said because they condemned Job without any actual proof or evidence. So he has a lot to say, and the next several chapters are things that Elihu says. The point I'm going to draw from this starts in verse 6, so let me go ahead and read. So Elihu the son of Barachel the Buzite answered and said, I am young in years, and you are very old. That's a great way to start almost any conversation with your elders. Take note, everybody, especially you young people out there. Therefore I was afraid, and dared not declare my opinion to you. I said age should speak, and multitude of years should teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in man, and the breath of the Almighty gives him understanding. Great men are not always wise, nor do the aged always understand justice. And so that right there that's the message. Just because you're young, inexperienced, maybe a teenager, maybe even possibly younger than that, maybe you're in the single digits, maybe you're not even 10 years old yet, who knows who will watch this video one day. What is most important is if you have a heart for God, if you love Him, if you've devoted your life to follow His will. If you have that, your opinion is of the utmost importance. What you say matters. And don't let anyone my age or older with a head full of gray hair tell you otherwise. What you have to say counts. What you say can be very knowledgeable. What you, what you say can be very wise. What you say is important. The knowledge you have is important. The wisdom you have. Though your years are fewer than mine, and especially those, especially those who are very old and have a full head of gray hair. <laughs> I love that intro right there. Maybe not necessarily the best way to say it in contemporary English. But nonetheless, what you have to say, despite your lack of years, can absolutely contain wisdom. If you know the word of God and what it has to say, you have wisdom. Even if your years are few even if you're not in some position of authority, even if you're still in school. Hey, even if you haven't started school yet, if you're really, really young, like less than five or six years old, the Bible says, out of the mouths of babes and sucklings, thou hast perfected wisdom. Or, I'm sorry, thou hast perfected praise. And to all of us older folks, um, for, the, for context, I'm 36 years old. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I don't have a bunch of gray hair. I look relatively young. I look pretty decent for my age. But I'm not young. I'm really not. And we, older people, need to keep in mind that those who are younger than us, they do have knowledge and wisdom. And it's out of their mouths that praise has been perfected, not ours. We can certainly young from those who are younger than us, and we need to keep that in mind. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you. God bless.